Since 1957, we've been sending things into space, rockets, spacecraft and satellites, and over time more and more artificial objects have built up around the Earth. This unused, left-behind space junk is what we call space debris. There is estimated to be 34,000 objects greater than 10 centimetres in orbit. Larger objects can be tracked, and it is possible for spacecraft like the International Space Station to manoeuvre out of the way of larger objects. But it's not just larger pieces of debris though, and the smaller they are, the harder they are to track. It is estimated there are 900,000 objects between 10 centimetres to 1 centimetre, and 128 million objects that are between 1 centimetre and 1 millimetre. Space debris isn't floating stationary out there in space, it's orbiting around the Earth and can reach speeds up to 18,000 miles per hour. That's almost seven times faster than a bullet. So space debris the size of a fingernail can pack a big punch. NASA uses a gas gun to replicate the impact of particles on spacecraft and satellites down here on Earth. I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I've got a bicycle pump and a cardboard box, and we need something to fire, so I made a paper rocket. Cardboard is a lot stronger than paper, so if I just throw my paper rocket at the cardboard, it just bounces off. But watch what happens when I put a bit of speed behind it. Okay, well, through the box. Nearly all the way through to the other side. Let's, tr let's try it again. And that's where I went before. And now it's going through to my box. I think you get to as well. There's been a lot of ideas to help tidy up space debris, including giant nets, robot arms and even foam. Hopefully someday soon, space debris will be a problem of the past. Mm-hmm. <laughs>